Dave Palumbo with another supplement and science review. Today we're going to talk about whey proteins. Um, it's, it's a subject that I've talked about before, but I think a lot of people are very confused by the different supplement, the different uh, protein, uh, I guess, uh, supplements that are available out there. Uh, you know, when we talk about whey protein, whey protein is derived from milk. Um, when they take and they separate the milk uh, into casein which is the solid portion of the milk and the liquid portion of the milk, okay? They do this process to make cheese. The solid or casein portion is, is used for cheese and they used to throw the liquid portion out. The liquid portion is where the whey protein is actually uh, uh, contained. What they do is they obviously, they, they dehydrate that water off there and what they're left with, the powder that's left is, is the whey protein. Uh, what they do with that whey protein then dictates, number one, how absorbable it is Number two, how well it will mix in water. And number three, how well you would digest it. You know, just pure whey, you know, concentrate that comes right from, you know, the separation process is going to contain a lot of milk sugar in it, lactose in it, which is something that, uh, you know, we have problems with digesting as humans, especially as adult humans. Your kids seem to digest lactose pretty well, and that's why they can drink milk. As we get older, we lose the ability to digest lactose because we lose what's called the lactase enzyme in our body. And what you'll find is if you drink milk or you drink, you know, whey concentrate products or you drink stuff that have a high content of lactose in it, you'll get gassy, you'll, you'll, you know, you might get diarrhea from it. Um, I know if I drink a, a glass of skim milk, I won't even make it to the bathroom. It, it's so bad. So whey concentrates are really not desirable in the protein world, but they are the cheapest out there. So if you go to like, you know, one of these, you know, price clubs or these supermarkets where they sell big, large quantities of things, you could probably buy a lot of whey concentrate at a very cheap price and think people think they're getting a deal on it. The problem is you get what you pay for when it comes to protein, unfortunately. Uh, the cheaper the protein, usually the worse it is and the more lactose it contains in it, which means it's less absorbable. So you think you're getting more for your money, but you're really not. Just because you're getting five pounds of protein doesn't mean you're getting a very high yield of the protein. Because you have to, first of all, you have to figure out how, what's the serving size. If it's a 30, 31, 32 gram serving size scoop, how much of that is protein? You know, when you go with the whey concentrates, you're going to find that they're going to be 19, 20 grams maybe at the highest. As we refine these proteins and remove the lactose using different filtration you know, processes, uh, we can get more refined proteins. Now, what a lot of companies do is they do what's called a blend. They'll take a whey isolate, which has removed a lot of the lactose, and they'll blend it with the whey concentrate, which is really silly because you're kind of putting back the lactose after you've taken it away. But what it does is it makes it, a cheap, it, makes it cheaper to make. Okay? And a lot of companies sell a lot of those proteins. They're, they're reasonably priced. And they're just as bad almost as the concentrates because they still contain the, they're just as bad, excuse me, as, as the, um, yeah, as the whey concentrates because they still contain a lot of lactose in it. Now we get to the whey isolates. And most people think, oh, whey isolate, no lactose. No, that's not true. There's different grades of whey isolate. And once again, you get what you pay for. I've seen whey isolates on the market that are 32 gram serving sizes that contain 23, 24 grams of protein. That's pretty standard. Um, and then there's other, you know, whey isolates on the market like my Isolize, okay, product that's 27 and a half grams of protein per 32 gram serving size. Much higher yield, okay, because I'm using the highest quality whey isolate that they make, meaning the filtration process that they use to, to, to get my whey isolate is the most sophisticated and is able to remove the most lactose, also the most expensive. So once again, you get what you pay for, but you're, you're getting more protein per serving. So you're actually paying more, but you're not paying more because you're paying for what you're, what you're getting. Uh, there's a lot of companies, look, I'm not going to name companies now because I'm not looking to bash anyone. I'm trying to make this a positive piece, but I've gotten, uh, I got an email from a company who wanted me to come review their, you know, their, their new protein product at the Arnold Classic. And they said, we have the highest yield protein on the market at, at over 80% yield. And I looked at their protein, and it was 25 grams uh, of protein per 30 gram serving size. <laughs> and I said, you're advertising something that's not true, because I know that my protein has more. You know, and if there was another, and there are other companies out there that have more, more grams of protein per serving size ounces. So, uh, you know, it's unfortunate people lie in this industry. They make claims that are not true. And they prey on people that don't understand the, the nuances and the variations. Once again, though, you get what you pay for, okay? You want the highest yield protein because you're going to extract the most protein and assimilate it into your body and get the best results from that. 
Likewise, it's going to mix better if you have a high grade whey isolate and your, your stomach is going to, you're not going to get upset stomach on it. You know, just because you keep something down, okay, you know, a lot of people think, well, I'll, I don't care if I get a little gassy and a little diarrhea. It doesn't matter. I, I'd rather save the money or whatever. The problem is you're malabsorbing the protein because if you can't digest lactose, what happens invariably is you ferment it. And when you ferment things in your colon, it causes malabsorption of the protein that, that comes along with that, with, with that lactose. And so here you are thinking you're getting a great deal, but you're not even absorbing the protein. So, you know, once again, you know, unfortunately, the better quality way isolates out there do cost a little more.